those fish were brave. They had a lot of guts. <laughs> that door open one more time. Huh? Eleven oh one a.m. Hairball masticates weed, leaves most uneaten. Jackpot. Eleven oh two a.m. Hairball produces magnificent fecal matter. Collecting sample for further analysis. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Abby just can't get enough of the new kitten. Hairball's reaction to a strong smell is almost unconscious. The limbic system in his brain draws him towards the odor. Cool. Well, I'm impressed. Scooping up after your pet demonstrates real responsibility. Now, I expect you to clean out Hairball's litter box as well. You bet. In fact, I volunteer to empty his litter box every morning. No, I volunteer to empty his litter box. Hey, I called it first. I'm older. What? Mom. This is a cat, not a science experiment. He needs love, not intestinal analysis. But we does rub him. Yes, we does, my little snookums, snookums. Nice. Can we just get back to his poop, please? Agents, there's been a heist at a local fish packing plant. What was stolen? A vat of fish guts. <laughs> It was intended for the cat food department. Cat food? Hairball's food supply is in jeopardy. We're there. They steal all of it. They didn't steal it. They ate it. That's twisted. And it looks like they only left one clue. A clue? Where? You're standing in it. Oh. Here's a sample from the scene, Lab Rat. Perfect. The ideal test sample for my new invention. The Stinkalizer. Looks like a gas mask. Nope. The last thing I want to do is shield myself from a good stink. The stinkalizer can identify individual odors. I invented it to find Hermes when he goes garbage can diving. That's sweet. We wouldn't want to lose you in the trash hint soon. Hey, can I have a sniff? Knock yourself out. And depending on what you're going to smell with it, you just might. Oh. 
First the litter box, now this. Mmm. A strong burst of macro bones. A trace of cod liver oil. And a big honking with a fish slime. What kind of fish slime? I don't know. What my stinkalizer does. It's hagfish slime. Hagfish? Whoa. That is one ugly fish. Yep, and it's got some pretty gross habits, too. Like? Hang on. We better fill the director in. Oh, uh, he's gonna love this. What is it now? Can't you see I... Oh! What is that thing? Only the coolest fish ever. It's a hagfish, sir. And I'm looking at this monstrosity because... Hagfish slime is the only clue we found at the scene. Hey, slime? Can't you kids find simple clues like fingerprints once in a while? No prints here, just slime, which points to this little cutie. It's a worm-shaped fish with no bones. They're scavengers, bottom feeders that use their big old mouths to suck up waste. They have gigantic appetites. <laughs> it's like a seafloor vacuum cleaner. A virtually blind and deaf vacuum cleaner. A real wonder of nature. But the greatest thing about hagfish is their slime. When they're disturbed by a predator, they ooze gobs of it through their skin. Aren't we missing the point? Why was... <laughs> Hagfish slime found at the crime scene. And why on land? Good question. And it's gonna be sweet, slimy fun figuring it out. Ugh, get on it. But spare me as many details as possible. So why was there hagfish slime at the scene? I've done some research and that facility doesn't even process hagfish. Process? You mean people eat those things? Yep. Ugh. If we have to track down hagfish slime, this might come in handy. Mom's texting us. Pee? Barf? Poop. Uh-oh. Sounds like Hairball's been busy. Now that's one honkin' Hairball. <clears throat> the Hairball you should be interested in is over here. If you'd taken care of him, maybe he wouldn't have peed on the drapes, pooped on your father's chair, and... barfed in our wedding album. I distinctly remember my dress being white. You didn't clean it all up, did you? No, he's your kitten. His barf is your responsibility. Stink time. Urine sample ready for analysis. about cleaning your plate. No kidding, Mom would love these guys. Looking sharp, detective. This time, I came prepared. I think we're dealing with the same perps. Got a better description, too. Uh, big thick lips, little beady eyes, disgusting stench, dripping with slimy sweat. Huh? Could be any one of a dozen crooks in town. Or they could be brand new bad guys, or bad fish. Except that hagfish can't walk or breathe air. Right, but there is something <clears throat> fishy going on. <laughs> Things stink enough around here without your jokes, Ty. I have an update. Our band of criminals has been raiding food storehouses all over town. They're eating more than just fish? Now it's spoiled meat, poultry, anything they can get those mouths on. At this rate, they'll threaten the town's whole food supply. And they appear to be leaving even more slime behind. <laughs> Find them! How are we gonna do that? We've gotta sniff out some clues. And I've got just the thing.
Whoa! Lab Rat was right! You are good! Uh-oh. They found the town's main food distribution center. Check it out. Slime Slick. It's fresh. They're probably still here. Something tells me we've come to the right place. Whoa. Look at the size of those babies. Amazing. They're hagfish, all right. There's tons of food here. This is hagfish heaven. Hey! That fish is tagged! We gotta get close enough to give them a good goop shooting. There's no cover. We don't need any. Labrat said they were nearly blind and deaf. But they've got a great sense of smell. They sniff us out. Unless we wear camouflage. Nasal camouflage. Nasaflage. Something tells me I'm gonna regret letting you talk me into this. Let's go! All the rotten food jammed it! Mine's jammed too! My jam is strawberry. What's yours? like a good idea at the time. It is stinky. Gonna hurl? No. I think it's gross enough in here already. Oh? your feet, please? This is a lab, you know. Uh, do you have a squeegee? Uh, never mind. I'll disinfect later. He found the bad guys. They're giant hagfish. We know, and it's bad. Where have you been? The hagfish have split up. They're attacking grocery stores all over town, and they're getting bigger by the second. Great. 
So even if we trap some, the rest will keep right on eating. Exactly. You've got to stop them. They've eaten the town supply of pickled herring. Huh? It, it's my favorite. But what about... Hurry! Pickled herring? Ugh. Come on, let's go fishing. Hold on. I'm getting some more info on these huge hagfish. Weird info. The DNA from the slime shows that these hagfish have been gene spliced with conga reels. Conga reels can grow to nine feet and weigh 150 pounds. But who could have done this? And why? Hmm. The hagfish might have been farmed. There was a tag on one of them. That's it. The owners would want bigger hagfish. So they escape, and as they grow bigger, so do their appetites. They exhausted the food supply on the ocean floor. And headed for land, an all-you-can-eat hagfish buffet. But they'll finish off all the town's food, too, sooner or later. The way they eat, I'd say sooner. But what'll be on the menu then? Not what. Who? Left the door open? What? Okay, we'll be right there. Hairball is missing! Ugh, we've got giant fish threatening the town, and we have to stop to find a kitten. Ugh, this secret double life thing is rough. It's our fault, you know. I know. We should have been more careful. He's a helpless little kitten. Mom was right. He's our pet, not our petri dish. We gotta find him. And stop those fish! Hairball? The hagfish have been here all right. What a mess. Hairball! <gasps> we'll never let you out of our sight again. What were you doing here, you little troublemaker? That's easy. Heaps of rotting food draw cats like a magnet. What we need is a hagfish magnet. Hey, that's it! We need a big, stinky magnet to draw them together in one place. Where can we find a huge store of the grossest, most disgusting hagfish attracting food imaginable? So you want all the old cafeteria food? Yep. yep. <gasps> hey, you! There's enough rank odors here to make the stinkalizer blow a fuse. And to give Hairball some great dreams. They're here. to blast a few giant hagfish with our own brand of slime. Hagfish slime is nothing compared to a face full of our sticky goop. One more goop blast should drive them back into the ocean for good. They have their own slime wipers. They're goop proof. A backup plan would have been a good idea. Let's go! Yeah. Engines engaged! Okay, that's just gross. We've got to find something! A new weapon! What can take on a fish? Maybe? Hairball! Look at the fishy! Abby, look! We should 
should have known that rotten food would attract more cats. And I never met a cat that wouldn't love to chow down on a fish. I guess even mutant fish don't like the idea of being something else's dinner. I told you my plan would work. What plan? Let's give credit where it's due. To Hairball, our hero. Boy, kiddo, you sure know how to turn it on and off. You're a tough little kitty, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're my tough little kitty. So how come now I feel like gagging? You're my tough little kitty. 